welcome to uh, vlog 11, uh, Weapons of Mass Decoration. Uh, hope you can excuse the uh, uh, horrible pun and little campy intro. I thought it'd be a little bit fun to try something different. Uh, what you're looking at here is some basic weapons for the party. Uh, we have two uh, fake plastic winter knives and a cleaver. Pretty much uh, run-of-the-mill cheapy kind of stuff. I think I got pretty much everything you see here for about three bucks total. So we'll move on to something a little bit more exciting. I'm going to kind of zoom in here. This here is uh, the bladed weapon, which was supposed to be like a uh, kind of like a straight razor kind of thing with a kind of a grungy corroded casing and some bloody uh, you know blood marks on the plate itself. When I ordered this thing, I was under the impression it was going to be about the size of a normal straight razor. Um, I was a little surprised to find it was a little bit bigger than that. I'll zoom out a little bit here and give you guys an idea. That is a ruler. <laughs> This was a little bit bigger than I thought it was going to be. It is probably uh, fully extended, about two feet long. Uh, bigger than any uh, little normal uh, straight razor I know. But since it'll be part of the uh, Sullivan Insane Asylum, and it's supposed to be kind of uh, over the top anyways, you know, it'll, it'll fit the bill. But just to keep in mind, if this is something you're interested in, it's a little bit bigger than you might be expecting. So we will move on over here to this uh, saw-looking weapon, which is pretty cool. Once again, a little bit bigger than you would have expected, but uh, has a you know kind of a cool grungy kind of look to it, which will which will fit in good with the insane asylum. And this is the wrenched weapon here, which is uh, just kind of like a rusty old wrench, and it's kind of cool. It's got a little couple springs hanging there with some teeth attached to it, so that was kind of cool. Just a little wrench. Um, then we'll move down here, and uh, this was. I can't remember exactly what they called this. I'm going to put a little section after we're done with these little props, which will have a close-up picture as well as the name of the actual prop. It was kind of, I think it was called like Ripper or something along that line, um, but just kind of like a curved handsaw kind of tool. So that was kind of cool. And then here we have another uh, various kind of little weapon. I think it was called like the hand-chopped weapon, something like that once again. Don't quote me, take a peek a little bit later at the stills, I'll have the actual official name there. But that was pretty cool as well, kind of gruesome looking. And then, last but not least for right now, we have the giant uh, tenderizer weapon, which is kind of like a giant version of a cleaver, and just to give you like a little bit of a an example there of what a normal, that's a normal kitchen butcher knife sitting above it to kind of give you a little frame of reference as to the size of this thing. So that would uh, be my overriding theme for all of these things. They're actually uh, for... I think I got them all for somewhere in the vicinity of 4 to $7 each. So they were all actually really cheap. So the size of these things, and I wouldn't say they would probably hold up to a lot of abuse. They don't seem to be real sturdy. But, you know, just the looking at kind of some of the detail on there, for a real cheap old kind of prop, they actually did a pretty good job of, you know, getting a nice little grungy look, and there's some bones hanging from that one. So I would say there probably isn't any of these that I bought that I would say I was disappointed in. So, if you ever happen to come across them, I think almost all of these, with the exception of the cheapo butcher knives and cleaver that you saw first, are made by Rubies, is I think the company that makes them. So you can look that up online, but yeah, I would say I was happy with pretty much all of these purchases. So uh, stay tuned, I'll uh, show a little bit of a close-up picture along with the official name, so that way in case you're interested in any of these things. You can figure out what it is and look it up online. Uh, also stay tuned. Um, there's probably about, I would say, maybe in the vicinity of four to six more of these kind of things that I'm looking to get before Halloween, waiting for things to come back in stock or the right sales, that sort of thing. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll have a part two of the WMDs video coming up shortly. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.